Hello everyone and welcome to Unbound Learners Pre-K. My name is Nina. What's your name? It's so nice to meet you. Are you ready to sing our good morning song together? Let's take our arms and stretch them out like airplane wings and fly that airplane to one side, fly it to the other side, make your arms into a T and bring those arms out in front into a circle like this. Now, raise that circle up, up, up over your head and give a little stretch from one side, stretch over to the other side, one last stretch up at the top and right down in front of you. Now it's time to sing together. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. I hope that you all are having a wonderful day so far. Let's jump right into circle time. The first thing that we need to do is begin with the date. And when we say the date, we start off with the month right up here. Do you know what the month is? March. That's right, friends. The month is March. And today is March 30th. So let's move the chip over from the number 29, that was yesterday, and today is March 30th, and right up here we have the year. Can you tell me one way to say the year? 2021, or you can also say that the year is 2021. But let's say the date one more time, all together. Are you ready? Today is March 30th, 2021. Okay, friends, we want to count all of the days that we've had so far in the month of March. We have a lot of counting to do today because the month of March is almost over. So let's see those counting fingers, warm them up. And because we also have so much counting to do, let's start off with a deep breath together. We're going to breathe the air in through our nose like this and out through your mouth like this. One more time. Counting fingers ready? We'll start at the number one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Woo, great job counting friends. We counted 30 days in the month of March. And look at this. After today, there is only one more day left in the month of March. And then we will begin a brand new month. Do you remember what month comes after March? April. That's right, friends. Soon we will begin the month of April. But let's move on to the days of the week song. Can you show me seven fingers like this? Because we have seven days in our week, we hold up seven fingers for the next song. If you know the words, you can sing along with me. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Let's travel back down to the bottom of the chart. Hmm. Does anybody remember what the day was yesterday? Here's your clue. Yesterday was m. Monday. That's right. Yesterday was Monday, the first day of the weekday. So that means that today is Here's your clue. T Tuesday. T 
today is Tuesday. And if today is Tuesday, that means that tomorrow will be Wednesday. Tomorrow will be Wednesday. But let's go back to today and let's sing Today is Tuesday together. If you know the words, sing along with me. Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday all day long. Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday all day long. Okay friends, let's travel back up to the top of the chart. Right up here we have the season. Do you know what the season is? Spring, that's right, it's springtime. And that's what our unit this whole next month is going to be springtime. This week we're focusing on the weather in the springtime. Okay friends, speaking of the weather, it's time to sing the weather song together. And it goes like this. What's the weather, what's the weather? Can you tell, can you tell? Is the sun shining, is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? Let's take a look at my picture right down here. I see a picture of the sun and the clouds. When I look outside in the sky, it's mostly sunny, but I see a few wispy, delicate clouds. We learned what those type of clouds are called yesterday. Thin, delicate, wispy clouds are called cirrus clouds. So I see some cirrus clouds outside of my window right now. And my temperature chart is on orange. That means that it's a warm day where I live. What's the weather like where you live, friends? If it's a cloudy day, do you notice the type of clouds? Maybe you have cirrus clouds, like I do. Maybe you have cumulus clouds or stratus clouds. Take a look out your window and let me know what you see. Thanks for sharing the weather with me. Now let's move on to the letter of the week. So yesterday we learned a new letter and its sound. This letter says D, D. Can you make that sound with me? D, D. And this is the letter D. D says D, D. Are you ready to guess what's inside of the letter box? Inside of this box, I have something that starts with the letter D, D. Here's your first clue. This is a type of an animal. This animal is a type of a bird that flies. This animal also likes to swim in the water. This animal makes a nest in the springtime to hatch babies, and this animal says quack, quack. Do you know what it is? It's a duck. Now, this duck is not realistic because this duck is wearing a hat, and you wouldn't see a real duck wearing a hat, but ducks have wings because they fly. They also have a bill or a beak, and a duck says quack, quack, and starts with the letter D, D. This is how you write a lowercase D, D. One more time. Now let's move on to the number of the week. This is a double digit number. Do you remember what number this is? 17, that's right. This is the number 17. And 17 is a double digit number because when you write the number 17, you have to write two numbers. First you write the number one, and then you write the number seven, 17. Now let's count 17 tally marks together. I'm going to draw them on the bottom of the chalkboard so we can count. Here we go. One, two, three, 
four, five goes across, six, seven, eight, nine, ten goes across, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen goes across, sixteen, seventeen. Seventeen tally marks. And I wonder what we'll find inside of the number box to count. I have 17 pine cones. Let me get them all. And as I count them, I'm going to line them up on the top of the box. Hopefully I can fit them all. Will you count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and one more makes seventeen. Seventeen pine cones. Now it's time to practice the sign of the week. And yesterday I taught you how to say rain in sign language. Can you show me how to say a light rain in sign language? That's right, rain. You can also say that it's raining if it's a heavy rain like this. Rain. One of my favorite signs of spring at my house is when the thaw happens. So as the temperature gets warmer in the springtime, all of the winter ice and snow begins to melt. And that makes lots and lots of water. Everything on my homestead is wet. The ground is all muddy and the creek is rushing. Now let me show you what a plant looks like after the thaw happens. So these are some stems and leaves from a daylily. And a daylily is a type of flower that grows in my yard. Now in the winter time, these plants were covered by the snow and ice. But as the spring came and the thaw happened, these plants thawed. And that's why they look wilted like this. For today's work, we are going to learn more about the thaw. Come on, I'll show you what I mean. Yesterday, I took some seed pods and I froze it inside of this bowl of water. Let's see what the seed pods and water look like now after being in the freezer overnight. Look at this, friends. Do you see how all of the pods are frozen inside of this big piece of ice? For today's work, you are going to use the objects that you froze overnight and thaw them out using a small bowl of warm water, a spoon, an eyedropper, or a plastic syringe. I'm going to take a spoonful of warm water and pour it over the frozen seed pods like this. Friends, do you notice how some of the seed pods are thawing? The ice is beginning to melt. And look at this. A little seed pod is starting to come out of the ice. I'm going to continue to pour the warm water over the ice. Let's try it with the plastic syringe. So I'm going to dip the top of the syringe into the water and pull that top part out like this and push down. One more time. Pull up. The water is inside and push down. Oh, I just saw another seed pod piece of a, a little seed float away right there on my finger. So as the warm rain falls in the springtime, the ice melts away and all of the objects and organic material that are frozen under the ice begin to melt. Do you see right here? 
The seed pod is coming out from under the ice. What does it feel like as the ice begins to melt? Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. Do you remember what happens to something when the temperature gets warmer and it's no longer frozen? It thaws, that's right. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. But before we go, we have one last song to sing. Can everybody wave goodbye like this? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow.